Hey guys, Steve Goss Jr., the Mississippi Bassmaster here. First of all, I want to apologize to my followers for uh, being so long before I made another video. We really got into tournament fishing pretty heavy since my last videos. Uh, had a lot of amazing accomplishments. Don't know if I even made a video and announced that uh, I coached my boys and they won the TBF. Finished second in the TBF State Championship two years ago and won the first ever Mississippi High School Athletic Association State Championship. Um, since then, I've actually started fishing the BFL. Been fishing the fishers of men, Central Mississippi Division and Northern Division. Me and my oldest son fished in the Fishers of Men National Championship on Lake Eufaula last year and finished the top team in the state of Mississippi. And this year I have taken it to the next level and I have started fishing the Toyota Series Trail, the Central Division. <clears throat> we actually were supposed to have day one on Gunnersville today, but due to bad weather, they canceled the tournament. So I'm gonna be fishing co-angler this year in this division so I can learn some more stuff. But uh, God has truly blessed me and my boys in the past years. And you guys, those of you that follow me on Facebook and Instagram and all that, you know, you know where I first started out fishing in a little old 12 foot boat. So here I am five years later with a 10 year plan. And uh, I'm already fishing with the pros and five in. So I, I give all the glory to God for sure. But uh, I wanted to just touch base with you guys let you know how things have been going. It's been, uh, yeah, it's been, a, it's been really busy high school fishing, and my fishing, and owning a construction company, and trying to keep everything going. It's uh, been tough, with COVID and all, but we made it through it. Uh, hoping to have a great year this year at the Toyota Series, and also in the BFL, and we're fishing the fishers of men. My boys are currently leading the North Division of Bass Tactics. Mississippi North Division with uh, only a couple of tournaments left and then we got the high, uh, Bass Tactics State Championship on the coast and the Bass Tactics World Championship will be on Pickwick which is something we started this new as of last year and uh, I'm going to tell you something if you, if you want your kids to be in a great high school program Bass Tactics is the best in the country and pay I think we pay first place is $1,500 cash and prizes, plus a $90,000 scholarship per angler that wins. No, no, no organization in the country offers what we offer. Um, I got Miss Goss driving for me so I can do this. We are uh, actually headed back home to check on all our farm animals. Five and a half hour drive one way and then turn around coming back. So. I just couldn't stay cooped up in that cab. But we have been very blessed. And I just want to let you guys know that I'm just to get back in the video, back in the filming. Uh, looking forward to it. Don't know how much tournament fishing will get filmed just due to, don't really want to give away my spots. <laughs> but uh, we're gonna, we're gonna, do, we're gonna start doing uh some more film and it's just it was a it's a lot when you're trying to do the tournament fishing and coaching and you got two teenage boys that you got to do basically everything for them or they just want to get in the boat and go fishing so uh and the editing the video and then all that i have to do plus work man it's just it's a lot so we're gonna try again this year with it and uh my oldest son is a senior this year so he'll be done with high school fishing and going on to college he's got several several uh, offers scholarship offers which is awesome again couldn't be more blessed all the glory goes to god without him no way we would be here so i really don't even think you guys have seen my new rigs uh, we got the truck wrapped now plus the boat very blessed, great sponsors. I want to mention PTG Outdoors in Grenada. If you're ever in Grenada, Mississippi, they got everything you need. Uh, Garmin, 
Garmin dealer, Livesco, Hummingbird, Minn Kota, they got you. They got mechanics, they got boat problems. All you crappie fishermen, come to the best crappie fishing lake in the world. PCG's got you if you need them. Riptide Outdoors, Bloodstat, Mississippi, one stop tackle shop. They'll take care of you, Ron and Tyler. I just, uh, I just want to thank God for being here. Uh, I just can't, can't give thanks enough. Come a long way. Uh, I appreciate you guys that's been following me. You know, a lot of people say what they're gonna do. And, you know, it just don't play out. But I'm sticking to my guns. In Ten years, I want to be fishing with the big boys. And I know I can do it. I ain't a doubt in my mind. It's something I love to do. That's where I spend my most time in peace with God. And the uh, happiest place on earth for me when I'm out there on that water. Whether if it's me tournament fishing or if it's me with my wife or my boys. It's just no better feeling. So, great news. We're going to go back to filming. Uh, Y'all missed a good bit. I actually did get the state championship that the boys won. We did video it, and I haven't even edited it yet still. But uh, youngest boy, Peyton, caught two smallers right at five pounds. And they had the rest, they had green fish. But <clears throat> I'll tell y'all a little bit about it. It was, it was, uh, it was awesome. It couldn't have went no better. And we went up there and pre-fished. First day we had had live scope for about a week, I think. First day there, halfway through. I pull the trolling motor up and drop it on the transducer wire and cut it in half so everything looked like it was going to go south from there. We spent four hours soldering wires back together and got it to where it was working. We pulled up on one spot, first three casts they caught fish over four pounds and we tore out of there so uh, I told them that morning before, that morning of the tournament I told them, I said you know today y'all can you can make your dreams come true today. It's up to you. You gotta work as a team if you wanna win. It's gonna take teamwork, it's gonna take persistence, it's gonna take patience. And we pulled up on that spot and they just whacked them. I mean, they did, they whacked them. For about two hours, they just, they whacked them. And they, uh, they ended up with, uh, right at 18 pounds, I believe. Like I said, they finished second in the TBS state championship. It was a team there that had 19 pounds. And then uh, they won the Mississippi High School Athletic Association state championship. So it was, as a father and as a coach, that was one of the biggest, biggest achievements I could ever, uh, ever ask for, man. It, it was, it's kind of choking up just thinking about it. But <clears throat> hopefully this year they can uh, win state championship and, of course, Peak Week is our home away from home. We absolutely love it. And we're so we're so glad to hear that the Bass Tactics State Championship is going to be on that in June. So it's going to be ledge fishing, which we love. So you guys stay tuned. I'm going to make a video later when we get back to the cabin at Gunnersville. Uh, I'll make a video of the new rig, talk a little bit about it, and what's the grass, electronics we have, some more of the uh, products that we're using now. But I uh, just want to apologize, like I said, for being so long making a video. It's just a lot. It really is. Tournament fishing is, it can be a job. It really can. Especially when you own your own company. Like I said, you do high school. and I'm still the manager in the north for Bass Tactics. So, you know, it's a, it's a lot. But stick, stay tuned. More great stuff coming. More great fishing. Until next time, peace out.